This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Aaron Lee with me and Emma Kinsman, both with the Lanark County Interval House. Uh, Aaron, you're the executive director. Emma, what is your title there? I'm the communications and volunteer coordinator. All right. And we've got a special guest with us today, too. She's got a fundraiser in support of the Lanark County Interval House, and it's her birthday. We've got Kenzie mm -hmm. Petruniak. She's going to talk about her fundraiser and her mom's joining us as well too stephanie so happy birthday kenzie thank you for joining you. us today thank you for You're joining welcome. us today. happy birthday <laughs> thank you <laughs> so we're going to start off let's talk about uh the lanark county interval house you have an mm -hmm. angel tree christmas is coming and uh it's such an important time of year for so many people and your angel tree helps people that are are being supported with the lanark county interval house so uh maybe aaron would you like to talk about that Sure. I think that um, this is a big time of year for us. This is the one year when everybody thinks about their community and their neighbors and the women and kids. Uh, we have angel tree opportunities. We have drop-off locations in the community. We have our annual winter and seasonal mail out for the holidays. There are many, many ways to support the agency and it's all on our social media, whether that be Facebook or Instagram. It's on our website and we are lucky today to have our communications uh, and volunteer coordinator, Emma, who can talk a little bit more specifically about the details of the angel tree. Yeah, so we have the angel tree. We have some that are in person this year. There's one at Cheerful Giver in Carlton Place, and there's a gift card tree um, at the Carlton Place Library. But we also have our virtual angel tree running again this year. So that can be found at lcihvirtualangeltree.com. So we have lots of different ways available on that site that you can support us this Christmas. And we have drop-off locations for gifts at IDA in Carlton Place, Independent in Smith Falls, Independent in Perth, and Independent in Almond. So lots of different places where you can drop off gifts. We're um, super excited to support families this year. Uh, last year, I think our Angel Tree supported over 300 families in Lanark County. So we're thrilled to be able to do that again. And um, yeah, we always accept gift cards, lots of different gift options. There's tons of information and gift ideas, <clears throat> excuse me, on the website. And we also have a different way to support us this year on our virtual angel tree, which is with an LCIH sweat shop. So you can get a sweater or a yoga mat or a blanket or tons of fun stuff. And all the proceeds will support our shelter and programming. It's so nice to have the bins set up at stores too, because while you're going in shopping, you just pick up a little extra something and put it there. Yes. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a great idea. And you said more than 300 last year you supported? Yeah, more wow. than 300 families. Wow. Wow. Well, maybe Erin, can you talk a little bit about, you know, logistically, what area do, does the Lanark County Interval House cover? Sure. Uh, Lanark County Interval House covers the whole of Lanark County as well as the town of Smith Falls. So anybody who lives in Montague. Oh, we just lost. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, we just lost Erin. Maybe Emma, you can pick. Where in between oh. is nope. is our is our area. So anybody can access our crisis line at 257-5960 and, and get support that they may need this holiday season or any time when they're fearing violence. And I mean, Christmas is, is, is generally a happy time, you think, for everybody, but people struggle through this time of year. This time of year is really, really stressful. I mean, you know yourself, if you're living in a family and in a home where there is no threat of violence, um, it's a stressful time. Finances, uh, stressors related to the cost of groceries these days as we look at the recovery from COVID, all of those realities and then illnesses that are, are beyond our control, including the pandemic lingering. Um, there are lots of stressors that can create triggers and, and make the holiday season difficult. Um, I would also say that, you know, November 25th is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. Um, and we embark on the 16 days of activism that follow that. And really, it's about honoring, it's about validating, and it's about saying to women, it's okay. Uh, we we are not alone. We understand that the times are very, very difficult. Um, and we want to empower our community to do things to make things different in our community. So we have a whole calendar of things that people can participate in, exciting things, 
that give you an opportunity to do something to contribute much like we're going to hear from Kenzie and how she's contributing uh, you can go to a workshop called writing our stories on November the 30th at the Carlton Place Library uh, from 1 to 3 30 and really hear from two local authors who have written books and are published but are writing about some of the things that women survive and they're putting those words to paper to inspire other women and survivors of violence to write their own stories. So that's just one example of an event that's coming up. I wonder, Emma, if you want to talk about any other events coming up. Of course. So yes, as Erin said, we have our 16 days of activism calendar. You can find this on our website. It's also in our newsletter and on our social media. So we have different events that will be coming up. We have three in-person events and we have different things that will be available online. So definitely stay tuned to our social media. But we also have two other events. We have the National Day for Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. That's on December 6th. So we'll be having a vigil at 6 p.m. in the park beside um, Crystal Palace in Perth. So please join us there. And then we also have a really exciting event um, coming up with the What Now Lanark County Group. That's on December 9th at the Almont Old Town Hall at 6.30 p.m. So it's going to be a panel of participants who testified at the uh, Renfrew County Inquest this past summer. So it's going to be a really interesting opportunity to discuss the recommendations. And Erin um, was one of those uh, that testified. So she'll be joining at the panel as well. So it's going to be a great event. And I really encourage everyone to participate. Excellent, excellent. So I'm going to bring Kenzie in here right now, too, because we were talking about fundraisers. And Kenzie, your birthday's today. Mm -hmm. How old are you today? Nine. You're nine years old today. And this is your second annual event that you've put on for the Lanark County Interval House, too, isn't it? Yes. So you did one when you were eight years old, and you did one when you are nine years old. Yes. Okay. Can you talk about your event? What's the date? What's the date of your event? The day is December 10th. December 10th. And where is it going to be at? The RCAF Hall. Okay. And what's going to happen that day? What's going on? We're going to have a barbecue with hot dogs and hamburgers and drinks. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. And what else? There's going to be baked good, a baked good table and a craft table and an online silent auction starting November 30th on Facebook. Okay, okay. So are you looking for donations for your, your silent auction? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Have you got some items already? Yeah, yeah. we've had some great donors so far. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Can, maybe, can you list a few things? Yeah. So we have uh, Blue Door Spa uh, in Smith Falls, Ground Waves in Perth, we have Jabrizi's Donuts, Stone Cellar, Kelly's Flowers, AJ's Photography, uh, Say Two, Catro Cheese, Great, uh, Gwen's Reiki, Mexico in Perth. We have Yuck Yucks Ottawa, Escape Manor in Ottawa, uh, Islands Treasures, and uh, we have many friends and family that have helped donate items too. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Can I ask how come you chose the Lanark County Interval House to do a fundraiser for? Because. So last year, um, how it all started was St. Francis Kenzie School. They chose uh, Lanark County Interval House to support last year uh, with pajamas it was their first uh, week of Advent. And on the drive home, Kenzie asked what Lanark County Interval House was. And we had a pretty in-depth conversation about it. And you could tell in her mind, things were were spinning, like she was trying to grasp um, the idea. And, and certainly you could tell that it was hitting her heart. <laughs> and when we came home, she came, went and got her piggy bank and then started asking us for money to then donate as well. And that's when I explained to her that anyone can do a fundraiser. Um, it's not something that we have to wait for someone else to do. And then it snowballed. She created little flyers last year. We, she hand delivered them, I'd say close to 60 in our, in our uh, neighborhood. And then from there, she collected goods last year. So 
um, like presents and like gifts and shampoos, conditioners and everything. Wow. But it was something that it was very neat to watch how it, um, it, it really hit her. Yeah, the, and, the charity. And, you know, right at Christmas time too, you know, this is such an important time for people to, to give back and everything. And Kenzie, you are doing amazing, amazing. Erin, mm -hmm. what, what's it feel like to hear, a, you know, a nine-year-old wants to support Lanark County Interval House? Oh, it feels inspiring. Uh, it feels very, very hopeful. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes me feel very, very proud uh, to be part of the Lanark County community. And I actually remember, uh, Kenzie, being at your school uh, with the residential manager, Jean, and we got to talk to the students at the school and pick up all those great pajamas. And there were so many kids who I think were impacted. But to know that kids are impacted like Kenzie and talk to their parents about it and get more information and then take action. Uh, that's in, inspiration for me because that's what we want people to be doing. We want people to be having these conversations and not necessarily do we expect somebody to do as much as Kenzie in terms of organizing and doing a fundraiser, but we want people to be talking about it and we want it to touch their heart because we want to end violence in our community. So somebody who's nine years old, who who's taking it in and who's saying, you know what, I can make a difference in my community and I can do something. I think that that's an inspiration and should be for all people in our community. And Kenzie, there are many, many kids who will be living in our shelter this holiday season and many kids who will be living at home where there's been some difficult times and they will 100% appreciate all that you have done for them and we appreciate you and we would love to have an opportunity to meet you in person um, and, and take a picture and promote everything you're doing. Um, Emma can do that. Emma, I wonder if we could also make available a little bit of a gift package to donate to Kenzie's auction. Sure. We have a See It, Name It, Change It campaign. Kenzie, maybe you can promote it. It means that when you see violence, if you name violence, then we can change violence and stop it. And we have hoodies and we have various things with the See It, Name It, Change It logo. And if it's okay with you, we would like to donate something to your silent auction to contribute to everything that you're doing for us. Mm -hmm. That'd be okay, Kenzie? right on that's awesome and i actually remember last year opening the door when kenzie dropped off her donations and i couldn't believe how much stuff she had and then when it was just little tiny kenzie walking in to do <laughs> donate it it was so special and so moving so we're really thrilled that kenzie's doing this again this year and it's really awesome to see just how you know one little person can make a difference in our community so thank you kenzie absolutely where do people drop off some donations if if they have some kenzie how do they get them to you so you're collecting again at the hall. So we were offering donations at the uh, to drop off on Saturday, December 10th. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that'll be at the RCAF hall? Correct, yeah. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Well, is there anything you'd like to, to add, Aaron or Emma, before we wrap up? I certainly would just want to say that we really appreciate our, our community and the, the fact that our community is always embracing the agency, whether it's the holiday season or any time that we need to lean on our community, the community is always there for us. Um, and I would like to uh, mention really uh, that it's quite important that uh, we have experienced our own loss and our own femicide in our community and in Smith Falls and St. Francis School was directly impacted. And, you know, we have now 86 recommendations that have come from the Renfrew inquest around how we can change our systems and how we can educate and how we can make a difference so that these realities and this environment doesn't exist ever again um, where we lost three women Carol Culleton, Anastasia Kuzik and Natalie Warmerdam and, and we want to honor them this holiday season as well as all the other women in Lanark County who are living with violence and being brave and the kids who are navigating it as well and for all the women that we've lost to the hands of femicide we want to continue to honor all of them 
whether it's the holidays or any time during the year, say their names and put an end to violence in our community. And we can only do that with an amazing community like we have. So thank you uh, to your TV, uh, to folks like Stephanie and Kenzie, and to our community at large for making a difference in trying to end violence in our community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You don't have to be an adult to do that, do you, Kenzie? You're nine years old. You're making a big difference. You're an inspiration to everybody. Thank you for joining us today.